Good morning, my beautiful people, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2! It's December 1st today. I know it's a little bit confusing, but as you know, I pre-filmed a video that went up on the 1st, so that's why it's Vlogmas Day 2. So just know that that's how I'm going to number things. Even though it's the 1st, you're like a number ahead. <laughs> so it's the 1st of December, but Vlogmas Day 2. Anyways, I've been up for a few hours. I got up at quarter to 7. I just relaxed in bed and had my breakfast, which was toast and a juice. And yeah, I've developed this like cold, nasally coughing situation. So that's not fun, but hopefully that'll go away soon. And I've been editing a video, which is Vlogmas Day 1, which you've already seen. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have a shower now and get ready for the day. I have to work from home today, so I'm sorry if some of my vlogs are gonna be a bit boring for all of you because I do spend a lot of time at home and I do work from home. So hopefully we can make the day interesting. I'm sure I will find time to talk a lot, so you'll have at least something to listen to. This is how I wake up in the morning, you know, just know that these vlogs are not gonna be glamorous. I spend most of my time without makeup, and I got pimples on my face. I got a scab. Do not pick blackheads. I know I said this yesterday, but I didn't realize that when you pick a blackhead, like before it's ready, it actually turns straight into a scab. Like it, it went all brown. And I was like, why has it gone all brown? And then the scab falls off and then, and then it turns into like I've burnt myself. And we're just going to face this way for the rest of the day. <laughs> No more picking your skin, Sky. Slap you. I'm not allowed to do that. Anyway, yeah, and I've got this red nose pimple here. I think the universe just thought, oh, it's Vlogmas. Let's give her a pimple on her nose so that she's the the red nose reindeer. <laughs> anyway, this is what I really look like. This is how the vlogs are going to be. So, you know, aren't you lucky you get to see this? face for the next 25 days <laughs> oh. anyway I'm gonna have a shower soon and get ready for the day because I have lots of work to do and we haven't said hello to you yet good morning look good morning to the vlog say happy vlogmas day two Here's Bootsy. Hi, darling. Oh, hello. I was sleeping and you woke me up. How dare you? I'm beautiful. Yes, you are. You're gorgeous. Mama loves you. <laughs> Look, he's getting jealous. Okay, all right. I love you too. You get a lot of love, okay? Why do you get so jealous all the time? <laughs> I think it's like 9.30, 10 o'clock now, so we better get the day moving, hey? We better get the day moving. I got a special delivery today, which I'm excited about because I was worried that it wouldn't turn up in time, but it did. So let's go look at it. And the delivery was... Dun, 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 an advent calendar it arrived today i thought it wasn't going to but it arrived today so that's so exciting are you excited he's smelling the tea <laughs> okay darling get down yeah i'm so excited for this i wanted to get an advent calendar for myself just to like you know treat myself and have something special to take out every single day up until christmas and I thought a tea advent calendar was the best thing because I love tea and you know you're always going to have a cup of tea every single day so this will be nice. I also wanted 
to get a vegan chocolate advent calendar to go with my tea, but they all sold out. So there goes that. <laughs> Maybe the universe was like, Sky, you wanted to lose weight. I don't think you need that chocolate advent calendar. <laughs> But I was really disappointed. So anyway, we're just going to opt for the tea. I bought this from nourishlife.com, I think it is. If I've got that wrong, I'll put it on the screen here anyway so you know where I bought it from. And they're all organic teas. And they have Christmas teas inside of them. So they're like really nice spices. So let's see what number one is. So number one is there on the second row. We'll get that out and we'll read the back of it and then I'll have a shower and then we'll make a cup of tea. So this one is organic herbal tea with cinnamon shikori. I don't think I'm saying that right, but I've never heard of that before. Licorice, peppermint, ginger and orange. Mm, that sounds like just what I need with this cold going on. I need that ginger and that orange and that everything. I love licorice. Mm, I wonder what it smells like. Let me get it out because I think like the boxes all smell like a combination of teas. <laughs> mm. Can't really smell it through there. I can like slightly smell it. Mm, I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to have a shower. Make myself look a little bit more presentable. And then we shall have a morning tea. Mwah. This very gloomy rainy day it's flooding in my backyard oh I need to go down the street and I don't have an umbrella oh, man. Well, that puts me in a bit of a pickle. I've just had a shower. I'm ready to go down the street and get something to eat and get a coffee. I need to get food for lunch and dinner because I've got nothing in the house. Um, but it's raining so much and I have no car and no umbrella. <laughs> so why don't I have an umbrella? I mean, I walk everywhere. That's so dumb. What am I gonna do? Why should I wait until it stops raining? I mean, my hair's already wet. What's the difference? Rosie, what are we gonna do? I mean, the rain is beautiful. We love rain when we're snuggled inside. But when we wanna go down the street, what are we gonna do? <laughs> um, guess we'll see if it calms down and make a run for it. Do you like my t-shirt? It says, love them, don't eat them. That was thunder. There was a thunder and a lightning, Rosie. So why are you sitting so close to me? I don't think this rain is going to die down, to be honest. There's supposed to be some big storms, so... Maybe we should just... Go on a run, hey? We'll just make a run for it. Uh -huh, let me out! Are you kidding? I just said I'm gonna go and it starts to rain even more? Oh my god! Can you just give me a little bit of leniency here? I just want to run to the shop. That's thunder. Well, um, I guess I'll see you on the other side. Maybe I'll be a drowned rat. I don't know. Pray for me. We're doing it. We're getting soaked. It's kind of stopped a little bit, which is good. But man, I'm getting soaked. Why did I bother having a shower? Oh my God. Well, I made it home. The rain held off for me, which was nice. 
um, so I didn't get too soaked. <laughs> But I literally didn't film while I was down there because I just, you know, try to dodge the rain most of the time. So, just got my stuff and came home. I got a coffee and I just got some hummus and crackers for lunch because I don't really feel like a huge amount. I just want to like nibble on something while I do some work. And then tonight I'm going to make um, like an avocado lemon pasta with... Um, like spinach and some veggies and stuff, so. I am still sitting here doing work. Not much has changed. <laughs> I really wanted to go for a walk today, but today's kind of just got ahead of me. So, I'm not sure what to do, 5.38. We'll see, I'll check back in with you soon if I do end up going for a little walk. I might take Rosie for maybe like a 20 minute walk. That'll be nice while it's not raining. I think I'm gonna do that. So I'll check back in with you in a minute. Mwah. Hey, so I'm just at the park with Rosie. It's a little bit later now in the afternoon, pretty much getting to dinner time. <laughs> so it's late, late afternoon. We just thought we would get out for a nice little walk while the rain has stopped. And I'm going to acting class tomorrow and I'm going to be out pretty much all day so I thought I better walk her tonight just in case I don't walk her tomorrow but we might be able to go tomorrow afternoon but yeah just having a nice afternoon at the park I've just left my vlogmas day one uploading now um, which you would have already seen but I'm so sorry for oh, the wind so sorry that it was uploaded very very late um, reason being is because I was very behind with uploading some Queensland vlogs so I wanted to get those up first before I uploaded my vlogmas and started all of that so yeah I should have really uploaded it last night but I didn't so or even like this morning <laughs> but that didn't happen because I was still editing and it took me a long time so it's just uploading now so yeah sorry if you got it at like 12 o'clock at night i'm not really sure what time it's going to upload depends on my internet so anyway we will get there eventually i'm learning this whole vlogging thing so i will eventually work out a system but for now it's a bit all over the place love this tree so beautiful and old but I just love how like all the roots are coming out like this someone's left their rubbish nice someone's left their hearts on the tree it's one up there <laughs> I remember doing that as a teenager carving your love in the tree cute it's really eerie today like it looks so dark and gloomy but I don't know there's some kind of feeling in the air that makes it feel I don't know mystical and mysterious I was just thinking I didn't bring my phone with me to the park and normally I do but I think it's really important to get away from technology sometimes and just have time to yourself get out of the house go for a walk clear your thoughts sometimes we are so like engaged in technology which is also an amazing platform but I think sometimes we kind of get a little bit too much obsessed with it and we lose ourselves in it and I just notice the difference when I actually step away from it and really clears my head so if you're sitting in front of your computer right now or your phone or anything like that just step away for a few moments go for a nice walk clear your thoughts and see 
how better you feel afterwards because I think it's really important to do that every single day and I think I'm going to do, do it more often I think I'm going to come out for a walk without my phone so I don't have to look at anything I'm not you know tempted to check my Instagram or check my Facebook or things like that and just be in reality as I am because um, yeah just coming on this walk without my phone for the first time in a long time has just reminded me how important it is to step away from technology especially because I spend so much time on technology so yeah do the same if you're feeling a little bit clouded we're spending too much time in front of it just get away from it I think we're gonna walk back now because I can feel it starting to rain so that's my thought of the day and I can't hold this camera for too long because my arm's starting to get sore this is a great workout <laughs> what are you doing I've taught you not to pull me thank you very much sometimes she's an angel and sometimes she's a savage I just got home. I'm gonna cook some pasta and feed my animals. I've actually already fed Bootsy, but I need to give Rosie her food. She's staring at me like, <laughs> feed me, feed me. You want a treat? Okay. You wanna sit? Shake hands. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit hard. <laughs> I only had one hand. Couldn't shake her hand properly. So I'm just about to cook my pasta. Tonight I am having gluten-free vegan pasta with a avocado sauce. So usually I would do like a pesto type sauce with pine nuts, but I forgot to get the pine nuts. And I don't have any here. Sometimes I use cashew nuts, I don't have that either. So tonight I'm just going to use avocado, um, some yeast flakes, basil, lemon, a little bit of salt and water and you blend that all together and it just makes a really nice creamy sauce. You can put whatever you want in it. Sometimes people use oil but I'm not, I don't have oil now so I just put a little bit of water and mix that in with your pasta and then I'm going to put some tomatoes in and some buck. Excuse me. <laughs> That was my washing detergent that fell off the couch. Don't worry, it was closed. But it fell off the couch straight onto the plug where the lights were. And I thought for a second there that it broke my Christmas lights. That would have been a disaster. But it didn't. They're still going. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying before I said a swear word? So yeah, I'm going to put in some tomatoes and some spinach. Mix that all around. Maybe also put in some mushrooms. And I'm just really looking forward to a nice, cosy pasta on this cold, well it's not really that cold, but this cold, sort of wet, rainy night. So it's exactly what I feel like. I'm going to make enough for tomorrow so I can take it to class. And then for dessert I will be having my nice Christmas cup of tea that I've been waiting for all day. <laughs> my advent calendar tea. So this is the pasta that I'm using. It's pulse pasta and it has peas, lentils, chickpeas and bortolini beans. So now we're going to make the sauce. As I said, normally I would use pine nuts because it gives it that kind of pesto-y flavour along with the basil and stuff like that. But they don't have so we work with what we've got just plugging in my pretty shitty blender I need a new blender so I'm going to put in a whole avocado because I am going to be using this for tomorrow's lunch as well this avocado is definitely ripe it's almost ready to go bad so lucky we are using it a squeeze of a lemon a pinch of salt what's that thing that thing that that person does 
Then we're going to put in some mixed herbs. Normally I would also use fresh basil, like a handful of fresh basil, but I didn't get that either at the supermarket. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking what I wanted to make tonight. I knew I wanted pasta, but didn't quite make a list, did I? So I forgot to get things that I needed. But we've got these sort of mixed herbs here, so it'll still taste delicious. I think I might also put in some chickpeas. Just, you know, for something a little extra. So I'm just going to drain. I've just got canned, organic canned chickpeas. I'm just going to drain them. And I'm just going to put in like maybe a handful of chickpeas. And then we blend. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like. Okay, and now we just gotta wait for the pasta to boil and then we're pretty much done. So this is what the end product looks like. This is my pasta. So I have tomatoes, chickpeas, I've got uh, pumpkin seeds, I got the spinach underneath the pasta and I think that's all. And some yeast flakes, which is this here. I forgot to put it in the actual sauce, so I put it on top. But that's the finished product. Yum! So I've just made my cup of tea in this cute little Santa mug. And I've just realized that when you take your number out for the day. When you're finished with it, you put it back in this way. And it looks like it's going to spell Christmas tea something something. So I think when you're done, it creates a whole new picture. So I reckon that's pretty cool. I'm gonna taste test this tea for you. Mmm. That's really nice and comforting. It's hot. You can definitely taste the cinnamon. Sorry, that's a really annoying noise, like someone going. Um, I can taste the cinnamon for sure. It is very Moroccan tasting. Mm. It's really nice. It's just like a hint of licorice and I can taste more of the cinnamon. I like it. I like it a lot. It's really actually really nice to have that just before bed. Anyway, I'm going to drink my tea and go to sleep because I have to get up pretty early tomorrow to go to acting class and I'm feeling pretty drained and tired. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I guess I will see you tomorrow in my next Vlogmas Day 3. I love you all, stay beautiful, and remember, be your own kind of beautiful. Bye!